Hello YouTube, this is Eli, the Obity Tech. I'm here working on a 2008 Honda Civic with the 1.8 liter engine. On this video, you know, I'm going to show you guys, you know, how to use a radiator pressure tester to pinpoint a, a cooling leak on the system. This vehicle came in because after every shutdown, the, the customer will always have a, like a coolant smell like either coolant smell or a burnt smell of coolant so he brought it in you know for me to check it out so you know so I already have the uh, the pressure test already hooked up to the radiator I'm gonna apply about maybe 12 to 15 uh, PSI of pressure and then we're gonna uh, do a, a visual inspection to see if you see uh, any leaks either around the hoses or around the radiator all right guys so you know let me set up and i'll show you guys all right guys so after applying uh between 12 to 15 psi to the uh, to the cooling system the next step is to basically you know let the vehicle sit for 15 to 30 minutes with that amount of pressure like i said 12 to 15 psi this vehicle currently uh is showing about 14 psi so during the 15 20 uh between during the 15 to 30 minutes of a uh, waiting if we see any pressure drop either one or two psi or more that's pretty much uh indicates that you know that there's some type of pressure loss either externally or internally so since since the customer said that after every shutdown he was smelling coolant it's pretty much telling us that there is a potential external leak on this vehicle either within the hoses or within the radiator housing so now so like i said you know so i'm going to wait between 15 and 30 minutes and i'm going to come back and, and and watch this needle if the pressure drops that means that indicates that there is some type of pressure loss in the system so right now our, our system is showing about 14 psi so i'll come back maybe after 15 minutes and see if uh, we lost some, some you know um, some type of pressure all right guys all right guys so after uh, 20 minutes of waiting time it apparently shows that the vehicle did lose some type of pressure we started at 14 psi it's currently showing about 12 to 12.5 psi so that's about 1.5 psi of pressure loss so that confirms that the vehicle is losing pressure uh, either externally or internally but since the customer stated that the vehicle has a coolant smell after every shutdown we will say that this problem is an external leak so the next step is to uh, do a visual inspection on the hoses and also on the radiator but to get to the radiator on these uh, 08 Honda Civics we must remove this plastic because the radiator lives beneath this plastic so there's actually one two three and four clips to remove and this plastic should come off all right guys so i'm gonna set up and then show you guys all right guys so i removed the plastic already it seems that this is going to be a easy easy diagnosis here it seems that the radio is the cause of this pressure uh, loss as you can see there's cooling here it's also coolant in here this area here as you can see a little bit on the uh, on the uh, upper neck of the radiator hose there's some you know some leak there also there's more leak on on the upper housing of this radiator all the way down here to this end so so you know so this is a way to uh, diagnose a cooling system by applying pressure into the system weighing and wait between 15 and 30 minutes and then you know I'll come back and check your pressure gauge and if you see any type of uh, pressure loss within within that 15 to 30 minute span that basically indicates that there is a potential external or internal leak on your cooling system so in this case this vehicle has an external leak within the radiator housing which is the upper part so we currently have about 
currently showing about there's a lot of glare right now on this but it's it's, it's currently showing about 12 psi so since that 14 psi of pressure since, since we started 14 it shows about 12 so we lost about 2 psi already within maybe 30 minutes already all right guys so this is a way to um to do a a pressure leak down by you know by using a a pressure tester and then waiting about 15 to 30 minutes and if you see any pressure loss that means that you know there's some type of a problem in, in the cooling system all right guys so after i perform this repair on this radiator i'm going to also show you guys in, you know how to perform a uh, a coolant bleed down by using a, a, a funnel all right guys so i'm gonna you know do this this repair first and come back and then show you guys you know how to do a, a bleed down on, on this um, cooling system to remove um, any air trapped after replacing either a radiator or a cooling hose all right guys